Greetings, everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all having a wonderful and blessed Friday. So the big question today is, will there be a fourth stimulus check? Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I will be answering that question in today's video. I will also be discussing the soonest date a fourth stimulus bill could be passed. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here today. Later on this evening, I will be announcing the winner of this week's $75 Amazon gift card giveaway. You can still enter the giveaway. All you'll have to do is subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and leave a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone. Congress finally passed the American Rescue Plan back in March. Since then, the IRS has sent roughly 161 million payments, totaling more than $379 billion. However, even after the three rounds of stimulus checks, millions of Americans are still struggling financially. According to a recent bank rate survey, two-thirds of Americans say the latest $1,400 check will not last more than three months. That is why it is extremely important that our lawmakers begin working on passing another round of stimulus payments right now. Thankfully, many of our lawmakers in Congress already support a fourth stimulus check for millions of Americans. The United States economy was really rocked by this crisis, and while three stimulus checks have certainly helped the recovery, and while three stimulus checks have certainly helped the economy recover, many economists worry that some of the hardest hit cities may still feel the pain of last year for the next decade. Soon after the passing of the American Rescue Plan, 21 Senate Democrats pressured President Joe Biden to include not just a fourth stimulus check, but a set of recurring monthly stimulus payments as part of his Build Back Better agenda. That includes the American Rescue Plan, the American Jobs Plan, and the American Families Plan. A recent poll found that 65% of Americans support the idea of $2,000 monthly direct payments until this crisis is over. 41% strongly support the idea and 24% somewhat support it. The proposal also has widespread support among economic experts, with 156 top economists writing an open letter in urging lawmakers to make recurring direct payments until this economy completely recovers. I know that many of you support the idea of recurring monthly stimulus checks. It would really be amazing and would help so many millions of Americans right now. President Biden has already introduced his American Rescue Plan, American Jobs Plan, and American Families Plan. But the bottom line that a large amount of lawmakers and economists are urging President Biden to include a fourth stimulus payment in his infrastructure plan. Biden has already expressed that he is open to negotiation. It is likely that President Biden will sign a bill that provides Americans with more relief. Well, I'm ready to go home because she never says that to me at home. I was, this is worth the trip hearing that. I am Jill's husband, is obvious to everybody. I never get introduced as she's my wife. I'm her husband. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm proud to be. You know, uh, I want to thank Long Tang Tran uh, for being with us tonight. His story is a story of, uh, of an entire generation, but it's a story that goes back many generations, not just in South Vietnam and in Asia writ large, but all over the world. And America, it's the reason why we're strong. We are the most diverse democracy in the world. And we do, there's not a single thing, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, there's not a single thing we can't do when we do it together. So thank you all. And I want to thank my friend, Keisha Lance Bottoms. And thanks to the Democratic members of Congress, Senator Ossoff and Warnock, Representative Sanford Bishop and old friend Hank Johnson, and Lucy McBath, and look, I want to make sure Representative Williams is here. I thought I saw her a moment ago. There you are, okay. And, and Representative Carolyn Bordeaux. You know, we need to work and help them keep their seats. It's important. We run the first round, but there's more coming up. And my good friend and DNC Chair Jamie Harrison from South Carolina. And Stacey Abrams, who can be anything she wants to be from whatever she chooses to president. I want to thank you, Stacey, for empowering the people to vote and to make their voices heard. 
You've been amazing. And most of all, I want to thank you, the people of Georgia. However, it is possible that not all Americans will be receiving a fourth stimulus check. But if you currently receive SSI, SSDI, RRB, VA, or survivor's benefits, it is probable that you will receive a fourth stimulus payment once it is passed. Before the American Rescue Plan was officially signed into law, Democrats and Republicans negotiated back and forth for weeks. Our lawmakers need to continue to push for another round of stimulus checks for the majority of Americans. There are other ways to receive direct payments. Many Americans can still expect future payments that were included in the American Rescue Plan. In addition to a one-time $1,400 payment to those who qualify, two other payments were approved. The expanded child tax credit is another payment. Qualifying families will receive $3,600 for each child under the age of six and $3,000 for children ages six and older. Half of the credit may be paid in periodic payments beginning in July. Then you'll receive the rest when you file your 2021 tax return next year. Also, if you're unemployed, you may receive a monthly check worth up to $300 in addition to your state unemployment benefits. These payments will end on September 6. Congress could add to these payments by passing a federal minimum wage increase, making the improved child tax credit permanent, or renewing the federal unemployment benefit beyond September. President Biden has signaled his support for making the child tax credit permanent and raising the federal minimum wage to $15 per hour. There are other proposals that have been proposed by other lawmakers. Some have discussed raising the minimum wage to as little as $10 per hour over time. Republican Senator Mitt Romney and Democratic Kristen Sinema have recently teamed up on a bill to increase the federal minimum wage. Mitt Romney said, we're negotiating a minimum wage proposal, which we would ultimately take to our group of 20 and see how they react to it and then we can go from there. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin has told the Huffington Post that he believes a bipartisan measure would raise a minimum wage to $11 per hour. The bipartisan talks come after a progressive push to include a minimum wage hike of $15 per hour in the latest relief bill. The provision failed when the Senate parliamentarian advised it couldn't be included. I really hope that our lawmakers also begin working on passing the federal minimum wage increase very soon. So everyone, that is the end of the video for now. I hope you found this video helpful today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my very best to answer any questions that you may have. Please don't forget to enter the $75 Amazon gift card giveaway by subscribing to my channel, sharing and liking this video, and leaving a comment below. Thank you everyone and have a very, very blessed Friday.